Welcome to sports everybody. After getting rained out on Saturday, the New Providence Softball Association able to get its 2012 season openers in last night at the Blue Hill Sporting Complex. The Bomber G operators able to avenge a loss from last year's championship, taking care of the proper care pool sharks in the ladies opener 19-14. Desiree Coakley picking up the win before leaving the game in the sixth inning with an injury. Chanel Simonet came on in relief and got the save. Alex Gabriel, she went the distance for the Sharks and suffered the loss, striking out four batters along the way. Offensively for the operators, Lathera Brown, a home run shy of hitting for the cycle. She finished up four for six, four runs batted in and four runs scored. Tyrese Curry and Vantry's Bowleg both four for six as well. Simonette and Krishan Persenny, they finished up three for five for the Sharks. Kenyoka Ingram, she was three for five with an in-the-park home run and three runs batted in. Tarika Monroe, she had a night as well. We could tell you that she and Raquel Cooper, they were both three for five. LaShanda Bethel and Vanetta Nairn, each with a pair of hits. And here's how that went. We came out tonight, we, um, we put the bat on the ball. We played some defense up to, up to about the fifth and sixth inning, but... Um, we, we still have some more work to do. Just come out tonight and we play it flat. We could have played better than we did, but I mean, it is the first game. So a whole season we have ahead of us. All we need to do is actually get to playoffs. Yeah, we may have been championship, but that doesn't mean that we can come out there and dominate the league. We know it could be rough because everybody coming out to get us. We are leading by about six runs, and all we had to do is just hold them and make the plays. But unfortunately, some balls dropped in. That's a part of the game. It runs and errors. But we, we were able to come out on top. Now in the man showdown last night, Adney the Heat Bethel not taking that long to make an impact in his return to the league. The Heat threw a no-hitter and that combined with a three-run home run from Ramon Store in the bottom of the sixth inning, giving the Bomber G Truckers a 9-0 win over the Y2 Shipping Bulldogs. Store finished the game 3-4 for four with two home runs, six runs batted in and two runs scored. Van Little Joe John Johnson, that is, was 1-1, one one, three runs scored, while Taran Poo Wood was 1-3 the double and a run scored. Sean Adderley was tied with the loss for the Bulldogs. They be getting the kinks out, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, we have one or two additions to the team. You know what I mean? Obviously, everybody know Adney, everybody know Eugene. You know what I mean? Uh, and everybody know this team is, is what you call the trucker, so it's a big truck. Take us a little while to get loose, but as we get rolling, you know, we're going to be a hard team to beat again. We're going to defend that championship. You know, it wasn't much of a competition, you know, but we come out, you know, to have a good game. Had a little slow start tonight, you know, but still end up trying to know it all, you know, which is, you know, it's good. But, you know, they're going to see more fireworks and some nice games. So, you know, I get plenty of defense this year, so all I got to do is go out there and throw strikes. Well, the 59th National Family Island Regatta getting underway tomorrow in Georgetown, Exuma. And this year, there will be a new sloop for the juniors to sail on in the E-Class, known as Scholarship 500 Number no. 2. This masterpiece was sponsored by the Joyce Family and the Exuma Foundation. I think it's great. I, I think it's just the beginning. We've got, uh, you know, the possibility going forward is for more boats. We've, some people have already shown interest in, in that. So, uh... I think I think it's an, uh, an example of how things can uh, work when you know when the foundation works with other people. There will be no adults on this boat, so it makes it much better in terms of competition. Because last year, you wouldn't believe, we had about four or five moms who came and protested a number of things last year during the National Junior Championship. They said, "Well, I had kids in my boat, and I see uh, several adults in the other boat, and they perhaps are holding the tiller." So this, you know, um, cuts back on all the problems we've had. Now among those on hand for the launch of Scholarship 500 Number no. 2 was Member of Parliament for the area, Anthony Moss. The team that will be sailing this boat here that was built by a legend, Mr. Huey Lloyd, I'm sure they are excited and ready to go out into the waters to let us see what they can do. I. I'm really excited when I looked at this boat and I raised the question when I got here as to whether it would be a class D or E. And after I've been notified that it would be a class E boat, it's, it really has brought joy to my heart to see that we will be able to have so many young persons who will be coming back into sailing. And that will do it for sports.